I found her, Ruffles. Deal her in. I do hope I recall the rules. It's been ages since I've played a game of Wicked Grace. Grab a seat. We're ready to start. Are we playing cards or what? Are three drakes better than a pair of swords? Ugh, I can never remember. Seeker, remember how I said, don't show anyone your hand? That rule includes announcing it to the table. There's a crown on his head, but a sword too. His head didn't want either. Don't talk to the face cards, kid. You seem to have enough people. I have a thousand things to do. Losing money can be both relaxing and habit for me. Give it a try. Curly, if any man in history ever needed a hobby, it's you. Dealer starts. Oh, I believe I'll start at... Oh, three coppers. Do you think that's too daring? Maybe I'll make it one. No. Boldness. Three it is. Seriously? Who starts at three coppers? Silver or go home? Sounds good. I'm in. Bolder the better, right? I'm in. Me too. Well, are you in? Just remember, I'm still new to this game. Don't worry, you'll pick it up in no time. So shiny. <laughs> the poor recruit ran out into the dining hall in nothing but his knickers. And this profound silence fell over the hall as 70 mages and 30 Templars all turned to stare at once. Then, a slow round of applause began and spread until every soul was on their feet. A standing ovation. <laughs> what, what did he do? Saluted, turned on his heel, and marched out like he was in full armor. <laughs> he did not. Good man. <laughs> You're shitting us. <laughs> That's how you know it's true. I could never put that in a book. Too unlikely. I think we need another round of drinks. I'll get them. Don't start without me. And the dealer takes everything. I win again. Deal again. I've figured out your tells, Lady Ambassador. Commander, everyone knows a lady has no tells. Then let's see if your good fortune lasts one more hand. I want another chance to win my dignity back. Deal me in. Don't say a word, dwarf. <laughs> I tried to warn you, Curly. Never bet against an Antiva, Commander. I'm leaving. I don't want to witness our Commander's walk of shame back to the barracks. Well, I do. It comes off. I didn't know it came off. I'm glad you decided to join us tonight. It's too easy to mistake you for the Inquisitor. I enjoyed this. See? That's what I mean. It's easy to forget you're not just an icon or symbol. Like those statues of Andraste holding bowls of fire. A at least it is for me. You up for another game when this is all over, Inquisitor? I wouldn't miss it. Good. It'll take me a while to talk Cullen into it. Maybe I'll work the revenge angle. Who's that? Did I win?
I can spare some time. What do you need? Tell me more about Bianca. Hmm. I'm not making any promises here. Ask. How do you know Bianca? The lady, I mean, not the crossbow. I met her years ago when she still lived in Kirkwall, and I was looking for someone with uh, mechanical skills. Bianca is, beyond a doubt, the most brilliant smith you'll ever meet. I haven't seen her since she got married and moved to Orlais. Bianca is married? Somehow I thought the two of you had a history. Bianca's family are Kalna's. Surface dwarves, so conservative they don't take a piss without asking the ancestors first. They picked out a smith cast boy for her. Wealthy, respected, has a great anvil collection. The perfect husband. I heard the wedding was lovely. The one Bianca actually showed up for, anyway. What makes the Merchant's Guild such a danger to her? Well, to be fair, it's more of a danger to me. Technically, we're not supposed to be within 300 leagues of one another. If it got back to the guild that we were seen together, they'd freeze my assets and then have me killed. Maybe not in that order. What in the world did you do to cause that? We almost started a clan war. Does it matter? I, I can't change it now. All right, tell me the truth. Bianca made your crossbow, didn't she? I mean, it has her name. Uh, it's not that simple. The Carta thinks my Bianca was a freak success by a Carta inventor who could never duplicate it. If they thought anyone else was involved, someone who could make one work, uh, things would be bad. So, I really can't tell the story. I don't want any more blood on my hands. So how long have the two of you been together? Well, if you want to split hairs, we're not. Usually there's a continent between us at all times. We write letters. Now and then we manage to meet up. I don't know if that's uh, together. Shit, it's been, what, 15 years? Great. Now I feel old. Thanks. I guess that's it for now. Sure. I'll be here.